Hey guys, how's it going? I felt it was about time for me to start devlogs on my new game Anthem. I'm planning on releasing weekly logs of my progress not only for my own sake by keeping me grounded and being able to visualize my progress somehow, but also to hopefully get tips and ideas from you guys or any changes I should make to the game as I'm developing it. So this video is more of an introduction to what I have so far, as the game currently doesn't function as a proper game yet. It doesn't even have sound effects. So without further ado, here it is. This is what Anthem is so far. You start the game on this anthill, which is kind of your main base and your reference to where you are in the world. Uh, I created this waypoint which points in the direction of your anthill so you don't really get lost as the world is procedurally generated and I found that I got lost really easily if I didn't have this implemented so I think it's pretty important and this is your character you play as an ant and I like the idea of having your character the literal size of an ant on your screen so that's why your character is so small uh, but you are able to zoom in and out and make your ant bigger or smaller if you'd like and I feel like this could be a cool puzzle element where you have to adjust your camera in order to solve a puzzle or discover different elements in the puzzle. And I'm sure you've already noticed, as I walk around, there's a little trail of dirt particles, and if I run, they get faster. And I've also added a stamina bar for your character, so that if you use up all your energy, it forces you to rest and wait for the bar to regenerate fully before you can run again. You do also have a jump, and I'd like to implement little monument areas where you have to jump across pillars of sort in order to complete a puzzle or receive some sort of item or reward. I think that would be a cool little element to add to this world where you have to explore these monuments and do a little bit of parkour or uh, solve a puzzle in order to get this reward. So currently I've only added one attack type, which is your bite. So by holding the left click, you can actually charge your attack. And instead of implementing a power bar, I thought maybe it would be a cool idea to increase the scale of the pincers itself to kind of indicate how strong your attack is. And if you hold it long enough, it'll shake the screen and kind of sparks will fly out of the pincers to kind of give that much more emphasis on how powerful this attack is. Uh, this attack is rechargeable, so if you use it, you have to wait till your pincers shrink back down all the way before you can attack again. As of right now, I currently don't have any enemies to battle, so hopefully by next devlog, I'll have some basic enemy that I'll be able to show you guys and be able to show you some basic combat mechanics. I did mention that the world was procedurally generated, which introduces a lot of challenges for me and the game. Um, I've never dealt with anything like this before, like how do I fill a terrain, an infinite terrain, with enough content in order to keep it fun and engaging, and it introduces a lot of coding challenges for me. So it's been quite of a learning experience. Even though that procedural generation has produced a lot of challenges for me, I'm still really, really happy about how the aesthetic of the game is coming along. Even though I only have two grass models and two rock models currently filling the terrain, um, even with those small amount of terrain objects, it still is looking like how I want it to. And I have a whole bunch more plans on adding a variety of plants, mushrooms, fallen trees, and a whole bunch of like flowers and everything else, right? Um, just to make the world come alive that much more, and I'm really excited for that. I do also have one monument that spawns randomly throughout the world. It is interactable, and when you click on it, all it does is illuminates a little bit and shakes the screen. Uh, I don't really want to say too much about this monument and what I have planned for it, because I am unsure of my plan and if it'll turn out or if I'll be able to implement it and I don't want to make any promises that might not end up in the game, you know? So, but it is a cool little monument that I do have spawning around the world currently, and I would like to see my plans turn out for it, because I think it would be super dope. That being said, Anthem all started as a silly idea for me. Um, it initially was just a game to practice my coding and animating skills, 
And well, that didn't last long and it quickly grew into something that I believe could be a cool concept. And I'm excited to grow on that concept. Um, I've made a couple games in the past, very small games, but nothing big. And I'm super excited that I finally get to start a big project. I do currently work part time. And in this current pandemic, my plans of a release date anytime soon are non-existent. Um, the game still has much to work on. So I thought just maybe releasing devlogs would be a good idea. But my final end goal is to finish it and publish it to Steam as an indie developer. I think that would be an awesome goal for me to reach. And having you guys there to share the experience with me is 10 times better. And so that's a small look at my game Anthem. I hope you guys are really excited for this project because I am and I'll be publishing devlogs every week. So if you guys want to get notified or support my project, all you need to do is like this video and subscribe. Also, I'll try my best to respond to all your comments and suggestions. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.